Cody? That is not my name. No, don't! So we are talking Awoken. This is a movie where a plague of wokeness covers the planet, and if you are not woke, you are put to the sword. Oh, no, that's something else. That's a whole different thing. We are talking about Awoken, directed by Daniel J. Phillips, who also co-wrote this. And this is yet another sleep-based horror movie. We have seen a rash of horror movies dealing with sleep paralysis and other sleep conditions involving kind of demonic entities. And this is yet another one. So what we have here, uh, we have this young guy who has a particular very rare condition where he simply cannot sleep at all and eventually he is going to pass away. And uh, he is in some type of medical facility and his sister is trying to find him help but no one can do anything. And uh, she is approached by one of her lecturers who sort of specialises in such things. And he has this kind of secret underground facility beneath the, uh, the, the university where he actually uh, treated this girl's mother for the same condition. So she agrees to kind of take the brother down there and uh, she's accompanied by a couple of other peers. There's also a couple of other patients down there who are suffering from other severe sleep kind of issues. And whilst they're there, there seems to be some type of demonic entity trying to take over the brother, uh, seemingly because he cannot sleep, it's weakening him and he is now an easy target. So what will happen? You have to watch the movie to find out. So let's discuss, first of all, what works with Awoken. Well, for, I would say this is a proficiently made movie on a technical level, first of all. I think it's, it, it's, it employs some good, sort of scary, if not generic, kind of tactics here in regards to its filmmaking. There are a couple of like spooky jump scares, um, quite effective ones, I would say. Uh, the actual location and sort of set design here, I think, looks pretty good. I'm actually a real sucker for kind of haunted-style hospitals, even though this is technically not, not haunting, really. But I still, can't, I always think it makes for a really kind of um, oppressive kind of atmosphere, almost because you're in this kind of place where you know that people are, you know, dying or, or, or sick and things like that. So I always think it makes for a good, um, you know, good scary, uh, scary movie. Uh, the effects here, I would say, are, are, are to a pretty good standard, and the the story is, you know, it's fairly. It's fairly, uh, you know, well, well talked through a, uh, a storytelling lens. I feel it doesn't kind of lose you in any particular way. It's not a convoluted story, even though it does have a little bit of a twist to it. I feel it's kind of got the story, the storytelling here is to a standard where it kind of keeps the audience up to date without kind of tipping its hands too early. So that's all pretty good. Um, and there are some kind of like, as I said, there's some fun moments in it. The pacing is fairly good. So it's, it's, all, it's all a proficiently made movie. Uh, what, what I would say maybe that this movie it doesn't really have is a lot of originality. It's a very generic feeling kind of horror movie. Certainly not bad, certainly something that you'll kind of like enjoy, but it's it's going to sing very by the numbers. Now, I was reading that they didn't want to have gore and stuff in this movie, um, which is, all, you know, it's fair enough. They want to rely on, on atmosphere. I think it relies a little bit too heavily on jump scares. Uh, but maybe the thing that I thought this movie... Uh, was the, it's the most egregious thing here was I think it's just a little bit silly in places and uh, I don't know just take some big leaps in logic for a start just to give you a two examples but there's there's more there's, I, just, I don't want to kind of go into too many plot points here so the, the the very fact that we have this hidden laboratory under this under this university which no one knows about apart from this one lecturer but it's got full power it's fully stocked in regards to um, supplies and stuff like that. It's got plumbing. We are we are assuming kind of food. Everything is down there, but no one knows about it. It seems a little hard to believe, to be honest with you. And just as just as another example, um, there there are two other patients there, and what the, the the brother starts displaying signs of demonic behaviour, and the other patients are scared of him. But they're not prisoners. They can leave. They're not like mental patients that are sort of like tight to the bed. There's nothing stopping them from leaving. But they go, oh, let, get me out of here. Get me out of here. 
you're there off your own volition. You can just go. Uh, but they're kind of like, they're acting like they're, they're, they're sort of like locked in a mental asylum. And they are not. They are there for sleeping conditions and not as serious as the other guy either. But we kind of like, they're, 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 we're almost meant to believe there that like they're like prisoners. And it, just, to, just to name another one, it, again, there's, there's like lots of things that happen and then there's someone else will come into the room and, then, and there'll be nothing happening. It, and they have these microphones to record, but there's no like visual recording thing. You would be recording what would be happening. And where are the other people going? There's, there always seems to be, the, the, the other people seem to be out the room. Um, when uh, things are, you know, things are happening, I'm like, where are they going? We, we're not shown where they are. So to me, the, the this movie is just a little bit dumb, it, it, unfortunately. It's it's fun. I think it's a, a proficiently made movie in regards to you can enjoy it as a somewhat sort of guilty pleasureish horror movie. Uh, but the yeah, it, it just doesn't make it. Just you know, if you think about it too much, you're going to start your brain's going to start kind of hurting. The only other thing I would say, I don't think the acting is necessarily bad, but our main protagonist is this girl, the sister of the guy who is there, the one being possessed. She has, like, one setting in, in regards to her emotional range. She's kind of, like, grumpy the whole movie. And I get her brother's ill. I understand that. But that we, we, her, her kind of, like, she has, like, literally it's the only thing we ever see of her. Just this kind of, like, oh, my God, sort of, you know, face. And it's the whole, the way she uh, interacts with other people. It's the same, literally the same kind of level of of emotion through the whole movie. And I would put that partially down to the writing, partially down to the performance. There's no nuance there. It's just one setting. I don't think it's necessarily bad. So she does a, quite a good kind of, like, worried look. But it's, like, the only thing that she she does. So... I think this movie is, like I said, it's professionally made, but it's fairly basic. I, I really don't think it's um, it's trying to reinvent the wheel or anything like that. It's just more of the same. Proficiently made, but very much similar to, you know, a hundred other films that you could kind of watch. And, you, you know, you're not going to remember which one is which in a kind of a couple of weeks' time and things like that. Um, you know, it's... It's just okay. I would say, um, you know, I always tend to give this an average an average score, but I, I don't think it's necessarily uh, a bad movie in any way. It's just very kind of um, just generic. So I will give it a slightly above average because I, I don't feel it's it's quite, you know, it, you, can, you can watch it and enjoy it. So I'm going to just pip it above average at a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.